this is the fiend for some here and today I'm here with another tutorial because a lot of you guys are asking um, if I could do like another tutorial and show you how to do stuff and all that but the most recent one that it got was from uh, I don't know the person's name uh, but um, they um, commented and they asked me can I make a tutorial on how to put the so basically, let's get right into it. I'm going to uh, just open a new Blender file, and uh, th this way that I do here it works with any other thing, way that you could, like with any other template or file that you need. So really, you don't need to do anything uh, for an animation. Basically, I'm just gonna lock, rock, scale this like right here. I'm gonna view the camera, and I'm going to like do this. You guys don't have to do this because this is just. Me just showing you like how to make it actually work too with an animation. So yeah. So hold on, I actually have to put this back uh, here and I'm gonna put it here and then move it. Okay. So as you see now, the thing now the thing moves. It's a legit animation. So yeah. So now I'm gonna tell you how to actually get the music mix. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to. Uh, Come over here, you're gonna press video sequence editor, and this is where you import your music. Now, here you're gonna press add, and then it's sound, and then you're just gonna choose a random song. I'm just gonna choose the Star Wars thing, random thing here, uh, here, so yeah, and as you can see now, it plays. Oh, wait, I have some burn, so you can't hear it. There you go, so as you can see. Plays basically the music. All right, so now to actually keep the music to stay here, if you close this file, it's just gonna, um, it's not gonna save. So yeah. So what you wanna do now is you wanna come over here to playback and press audio scrubbing. So that will keep the music inside of the actual animation when you render it. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm trying to see. It. Yeah, sorry about if you hear firecrackers. <laughs> It is a uh, fire them off, so yeah. Um, trying to think, so yeah, you come over here to play by it. Are you scrubbing? Did that now? You change this back to your 3D view, and then if you think you hear something for some reason, it only starts at that frame, it's weird, but anyway, you can still hear it for you guys. It should start here, unless hold on, let me see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, that's just because the actual music doesn't start until a certain point, so. As you can see, there you go, now it's fixed. So, go to the beginning, there you go, you hear music in the background. So, that's basically how you do that, and then if you want to know how to actually render, you come over here, I'm just going to do 30 frames per second. Uh, you want to save it to your desktop, that's what I always do, cause, um, so I don't lose it. And then you want to come over here, if you're on Mac, you want to go here and press QuickTime. Um, if you're on any other computer, I really don't know how to do it, so sorry about that. Um, then you come over here where it says audio codec. You want to make sure this is if you're on Mac, Apple, lossless, whatever the heck it says. Then I'll leave the quality the same, leave all that the same, and then I just render, press um, render animation, and that's basically it, really. Um, I'll wait for it to finish, I guess. And uh, so yeah, guys, I will um, be right back. Okay, you guys, so I am back, and the animation has finished rendering. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I am not going to save it because I don't need it. And now you should have your final copy on your desktop with music. Let's see. Yep, there you go, guys. That's all you basically have to do to add music in an animation. This also works with um, Minecraft animations for templates and whatever you guys want. The same steps that I showed you work for any, any Blender files. So, yeah, that's basically how that works. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to announce that this is going to be the last video for a while. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I, uh, don't forget to look at the lightsaber trailer, which I just released. And uh, this, I'm going to actually make the movie for the Spooderman one. We're not, we're, my Dan may do it. Um, I may help him write it or something. I don't know what's going on because we've really been busy. And, yeah, we've been <laughs> basically uh, having fun with other things. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to let you know that. And, um... Yeah, basically, let me guys know if you want to have a behind-the-scenes video of, like, how I edit 
uh, the lightsaber battle trailer or whatever, just let me know uh, in the comments below. And if you have any other questions or tutorials you would like me to do, comment down below and I should get to you soon when I am back with a new computer. I may post one more video after this. But anyway, that's basically it, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the like button. And, uh, yeah. That's basically pretty much it. And, uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started.